It is really bright today. Hopefully my Sephora play is bright. What the heck, that's not even a pun. When you were just watching Liza and you try to come up with funny puns, but no one beats Liza. Anywho, today I'm gonna be unboxing Sephora play. We have like a little interesting card right here. Public display of complexion. Huh, I'm a little confused. Like different skin tones, maybe? I'm a little confused, but very curious. First thing I see, I always grab the perfume sample first. Anywho, we have Tory Burch. It's like a little like blue bottle. I'm scared. I hate the smell of most of these perfumes. That's pretty nice. It's kind of refreshing. It's kind of like a, almost like a light cologne. It's not really like a feminine smell. Ooh, I like it though. It's not too sweet. I kind of really like that actually. The first thing I pull out, this is like an Urban Decay primer. I'm pretty excited right now, honestly though. I think this is a pretty good size. It's like the complexion primer. I'm intrigued. The uh, packaging is a little rinky dinky, but I'm really curious about the texture. Okay, it's kind of like a, a little bit like of a professional feeling, but kind of, um, yeah, I would say this feels just like professional mixed with like the Mineral Veil Primer from Hourglass. So interesting. I don't wear a lot of primers nowadays, but I may give it a shot. I feel like it made like the center of my hand kind of white though. Does anybody else agree? I don't know. Um, but that does seem really pretty. I'm excited. What is this? Okay, this is from Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea um, Marine Boosting Mist. Interesting, cute little package. Oh my gosh, the lighting is shifting. I think because it's cloudy yet. Yeah, Whoa, it's really cloudy out. Um, I was just outside. How did I not notice? I don't know. Um, but let me spray my face. Ooh, it smells nice. It feels nice. Oh wait, why did I just spray that? I don't even know the ingredients. That could have been a hazard. Um, hopefully there's no coconut oil. But it feels really nice actually. Oh, 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 it tastes like soap though. <coughs> um, but hey, that is the cutest little sample. I'm totally gonna throw this in my purse. Um, this is awesome actually for on the go and it's from Tarte. I'm excited. Uh, okay, this is a really good month. Okay, then we have a Makeup Forever Foundation. This is Y245. Uh, there's someone working on our roof, P.S. So if you hear that, you just ignore that. Okay, I've never tried a Makeup Forever Foundation. This is the Ultra HD one. Whoa, this is creamy. This is nice feeling. Okay, wow. Okay, that's actually pretty good coverage. Wow, actually though, this feels so nice with the primer. I feel like that looks really, really nice. Okay, that's actually a really nice match too. I'm impressed so far, this is amazing. Okay, and then I think we have a, I think a one more or two more things. I'm a little shook over here. Okay, so this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. So we got their foundation and then we got a primer, which I've seen this little cute primer all over YouTube. It's like a little like dropper, I believe, yes. And then it comes and it's like a little like, kind of like a little serum. Honestly, the ingredients on these products are probably not the best, but I'm so curious about these. Whoa, oh my gosh, that feels really cool. It's like a lightweight like serum. Ooh. It it smells pretty nice. Okay, that's actually a really cute little size. It looks like a little bottle of like a potion. Look at this, it's like a glass bottle. I'm really impressed right now. Um, and then we have a, another product, obviously. It's an exfoliator by Dr. Brandt. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna swatch that because that's like pretty much soap. I probably will pass this to my mom or my aunt because I don't really use these. I have my own that I use like a lot um, instead of like that. So honestly though, like, I'm really excited. The perfume sample was amazing and all these little products right here were amazing. Two Makeup Forever, one Urban Decay, and one Tarte. That is really, really good. I'm super, super impressed. And I'm just really excited, honestly. That was actually really good luck. I feel like the last Sephora play was pretty bad. It was honestly not, it wasn't very good. It just, it kind of like sucked. Or was the one before that? Honestly, all the months kind of mixed together. Ugh. Got hair in the mouth. So I'm hoping that all the next months are gonna be like this because this was honestly, I think the best Sephora play I've ever had, which is rare for me. I feel like I haven't had a great Sephora play in a while. I'm excited. I'm really pumped actually. So thank you so much for watching. I am super, super impressed. Let me know if you get Sephora play, how was your month? Hopefully it was really, really good like mine. I'm really pumped about everything, even that perfect Fume. Honestly, I can still smell it. it. Smells really good. Usually, like the scent, like disintegrates like into the air like immediately, but that smells really nice. Okay, 
I'm pumped. Thank you so much for watching this. I love you so much. And yeah, I just wanted to let you know that. I just hope you're having an amazing day. And if you aren't, don't worry. You know what? It's going to get all better soon. And just stay strong. It's so, so, so important. And we all go through rough patches. Everyone does. Like, not even kidding. The Kardashians do. Every famous person I'm, I know goes through rough patches. So, I love you so much. And bye.